What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cubist Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice, are going to be going over topics that will hopefully help entice, enhance, and take your relationship to a whole new level. And don't worry, if you are in a relationship, you can use this vital information to make your next relationship a super success. Because that's what it's all about, having a successful relationship, long-lasting, loving, and caring relationship, you know, to go on forever and ever and ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> or so we hope, right? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, you know, every week, you know, we want to go over great topics. Now, this is some stuff that me and Sharice have experienced maybe throughout the years or we've seen from friends or other relationships that we've seen around us. And, you know, you want to take all that knowledge, soak it all up, and utilize it for your relationship or your future relationship, mm -hmm. and that is as well. And one thing that we always talk about in every episode, because we give a lot of its, you know, topics or tricks, is uh, communication. And we talk about it every single time. And how communication is the most vital, or one of the most vital parts of your relationship. And being able to you know, tell your partner what's going on, talk to them about issues, talk to them about where you want to go in life or what you're trying to achieve, and having them on the same page with you. Right? Or if you're just having a problem. And you yeah. need to address it. Yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Got to figure out how to communicate that. Yeah, yeah. Over and, to them. And I think that's the biggest problem with relationships out there or people is that, you know, they get in relationships. Um, they can communicate at work just fine, I guess. But some people, when they get in situations with their significant other, there's different ways that they cope with this communication process. And if it's something negative per se, like, you do something wrong or your significant other starts yelling at you about something or saying that they don't like something, you know, what do you do? What happens? And ask yourself, what do I do when this situation happens? And some people, they shut down, right? Like right away, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what? I don't want to talk about this. I don't care. I'm going. See you later. And they might not even think about it again. And that's not good either, right? They try uh, to just blow it off. burying it. Yeah. You're never going to be able to bury it. Just, all you're doing is really putting it in a bucket. And the bucket, you ever notice when you put sand in a bucket? It doesn't actually, like, the sand doesn't leave the bucket, right? It just keeps going on top and yeah. then on top and then yeah. on top. And then at some point, the sand just overflows on the bucket. Yeah. Then you have to address it because, you know, can't put more sand in the bucket. And then you're probably going to have to deal with more problems that you've been covering up. <sighs> True fact right yeah, there, right? Yeah, it's ugly. So, you know, when you have a problem or issue that arises, you know, it's best to try to hit it head on. Now, dealing with a head-on situation mm -hmm. can be a little bit different too and challenging because you got two people that are involved. It's not just yourself that's dealing with this issue. It's the other person. And depending on what side of the coin that you're on, you know, is Tales never fails. where you're going to be either more patient to hear about something or not want to hear about something and then the other person is going to want to get it off their chest and explain it or tell you in one way, shape, or form. That you might not like mm -hmm. and at that point you got to communicate you got to talk about these problems or issues and it might not just be a negative thing either right it communication could it could be listen this could be about listen what's our future going to be or what, what we, this, this kids what are kids doing or what, what are we where are we sending the kids for school or i mean it could be literally about anything it's just some people just hold back yeah and all of a sudden they're lashing out at you like out of nowhere in the middle of dinner and you're like what in the world is going on with you like what is your problem right you know so i think i really think um probably one of the most important things like if i had to pick the top little you know top little things here are the bullets um the first one is and this is just me personally right and i don't always process all of my thoughts um right away before i speak because i'm not that great at it i've gotten better at it through the years you know um but i try to process a little bit of it before i start speaking so that i can at least present it properly or like at least present it with some sort of you know a, a non-aggressive way maybe i try my very best <laughs> i'm just an aggressive individual <laughs> very aggressive all the time um but you know that that's number one right so just process everything before you speak number two right um is to always make sure that whenever you guys are talking you guys can't talk at the same time because if you guys are both talking at the same time you are not listening to each other right True. so if you're if you're both talking neither one of you can hear each other 
So you're gonna have one of you guys is gonna have to shut up. Not in my my language, but you're just gonna have to shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut you know. <laughs> so one of you guys is gonna have to be quiet and listen, and then you know, not just like you know, I mean, really process what they're saying, yeah. so that you can give them a, a response or at least think about it yeah. or whatever it is, right? And I'm not even talking about things that are you know, like I said, like he was saying, fighting or anything. Yeah. But that's number two. Number three, one thing I've learned with John specifically is. And this was in the beginning of the relationship. I used to do this all the time. It was always you, 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 you. I would always start the conversation with you, this, you, that, you, 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 you. So I finally, throughout the years, it took a long time. But, and see, this is what I'm saying. You guys are getting shortcuts. Like, this is like, you guys are cheating. So, anyways. But, you know, throughout the years, I've started to be like, all right, I need to, re like, reword this. And I'm, I started saying, like, I... And this is how I feel about it. This is how I am feeling and thinking right now. Instead of it being like pointing the finger and being like, you did this, you did that. You aren't listening. You are it did that, that pointing the finger and yelling. It does not get you very far. Now, does it get, does it happen? Yeah, it might happen, but you know, but I mean, if you can try to calm down for a minute, which is taking, like I said, it's taking me years to do, but um try to calm down for a minute process it and then maybe just word things correctly presentation is everything true story yeah i mean presentation is everything the way that you really bring up the conversation whatever it is and present it is probably going to be the way it's going to be accepted you know if you come at somebody really aggressive and defensive they're probably going to get defensive right back to you you know and that's not going to be a good way to start a conversation and communicate right you got to be open um, and both pairs got to be open. Mm -hmm. And then when we're talking about talking one at a time, that's great. But you got to be able to give your partner the time to talk too as well. It's not just a one side street, right? Because if somebody's like, you, you, or I, or I think, and you just don't let them talk, then they're like, well, you know, I really didn't get my point across or maybe how the way that I feel. Because there's always, you know, there's always three sides to a story. But when you're dealing with two people, you have two different people in the way that maybe they perceive something, right. or the way they um, think, they think something, or the way they look at it. And at that point, you got—that's what you guys got to talk about, right? Right. Compromise. Kind of well, you can, yeah, you know, you see the whole picture on, on both sides. Of, you know, I see your side, I see my side, and you know, this is kind of what we need to do to bring everything together so we can resolve this issue, right? Or come together, you know, to to conquer the solution. Yeah, you know, the next battle we're gonna we're gonna face together. You know, whether it's maybe you know. You know, when you want to get a house, when you want to have kids, um, you know, where you want to have your wedding if you're going to get married, you know, all these different things, right? Who's, who's, who's a family we're going to go over for holidays this year? We're going to go over both. We're going to go over one this year and the one next Why year. Why your mom first? Why my mom first? Why here first? Why here second? Would they want to do it at the same time? Well, why, why do you have to go to yours? You know? You're going to get a lot of these different things. And, you know, you don't really think about these little things, you, really you know, until you're in the relationship and you're dealing with these things. And yeah. you're like, man, I didn't think I'd ever have to deal with something like this in a relationship. Like, you know, like I just thought it was going to be pizza and cream. You know, everybody's going to get along. Right. Okay. It's going to be a beautiful thing, a utopia out there um, where everybody is just in holly jolly moods and, and everybody's just going to, you know, just let, let lion dogs lie and, and have a great time together. Uh. Not going to happen. Right? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of different personalities out there family's mixture or even yourselves you know what you think might be good the other partner might not think is so good mm -hmm. and as you establish a relationship you go on and on and on you'll start learning more and more about your partner too so this will be able this should help you to be able to communicate and if you're in a long longer relationship and communication is starting to shut down mm -hmm. that's definitely not a good thing mm, not good. um you know because you establish that and begin the relationship and you should be adding on top of that through the years and be able to communicate even more yeah not like shut the person down when they start talking to you not good you know then they won't want to talk to you yeah it's not then good. they won't talk to you about anything it's and then they'll good. just be pent up frustration and at some point they're going to blow up on you yeah and that's never good because there's nothing good that comes out of like yeah. a blow up argument yeah and the, there's different ways that you can improve communication so i was talking to sharice and uh, and we were talking about this earlier before we got on the show and the thing was, was like, all right, we preach communicate, communicate, communicate. Communication is key to any relationship out there, whether it's business or personal or your love relationship, right? But how do you improve those communication skills with each other? Yes, we know that one person should be talking, the other one should be listening, right? And then reciprocating and then feedback through there. But how do you gain those skills? 
And when you look at a relationship, whether it's a business relationship or a love relationship, it's usually a partnership to some sort of mm -hmm. degree, right? You guys are working together as a team to accomplish a goal, whatever it may be. If that's you know, love life, children, so on, so on, or that's business, you know, we want to grow, 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 whatever yeah, it may we, be. We have a couple different options. Yeah, there. so, and, and we're, we're on both <laughs> those paths, and usually it's either one or the other, oh, right? Sure. You're either in a business relationship with somebody, and it doesn't have to be a girl or a guy, but you be two people, or you're in a love relationship, right? And that's going to be there. Usually they don't cross over. We're kind of an anomaly here. Mm -hmm. There are some more people out there like us, but it's harder to do, trust me, a lot harder to do. But at that point, you know, you gotta be able to communicate with those people. So use different techniques to do this. Now, one thing that I did, like, or I think that's a really good one, like you guys can both go out and do, and this can be done in a business light or in a love light, right? Is like, uh, we used, and we do it all the time for our family just because we like to do it as fun. Yeah. But, um, you know, you go into the escape rooms. I love Or things like rooms. escape rooms. I just don't like being in it with other people. And, uh, you know, you can get it for yourselves, <laughs> right? So, it listen. Buy the whole room, John. I want to be you in know, there. I you, want your new friends. You could buy the whole room out <laughs> just so it's you and your significant other and, and play this game together. And what does it do? It really does teach teamwork because you guys have to... Go we'll find everything. Uh, attack everything. Look put for all the puzzle clues. Put these pieces together. Put the puzzles together. Start answering these questions to ultimately solve the mission, right? Because that's the goal. You guys want to go in there and solve this mission together. And Hopefully it, your significant other is yeah. smart. And people can get frustrated in there, too. <laughs> this is where the communication comes. They're like, don't get frustrated. Like, I'll, help you, I'll help you find that, you know? that sock. And then you guys can agree on, hey, listen, do we need a clue? Do we not need a clue? This is, you know, you got to raise your hand. It is. Let's get together. And, and this is something that you yeah. have to agree on together to be able to do. It's not just, oh, I want it. John well, want never it. wants a clue. I never want the clues. And I'm like, I want a word for I'm it. I'm like, dude, we have like three minutes left and we have not taken any of the three clues. Please let me have a clue. <laughs> I don't like clues. And he's like, like fine, myself. clip. But you know, when you get the clue, it'll help you out. And it is what it is. And we've we've conquered a lot of these rooms. Oh yeah, we always so escape. it's really really cool to do. I think that's just one exercise. There's also things like charades and stuff like that, where you're starting to learn that person, like you know what they're trying to get at, and you guys can communicate with each other without in speaking. silence. I was gonna say without speaking. Dude, that's the best. Because if you can if you can look at your sniffing other in a room, and you guys are let's say oh, 50 feet apart. Yeah, me and John. You guys know that. what you guys are talking about, or thinking, time. dude. That's the Just best. one look across the room. 100%. I already 100%. know. You, and, you know, this will work for you guys too. You'll know you're in trouble. If she looks at you a certain way, oh shit. Uh, My look uh, is. <laughs> I do like. Like, oh like, shoot. Uh -oh. I do like three blinks or so. Yeah. So and then I smile. You and always like, know. Uh, okay, time to go. <laughs> so I know we always talk about it every episode, but start doing it. Communicate with your partner or in life, in your relationships, all the way around. Everything. This will definitely benefit you in so many different ways, and I think you'll be a lot happier in a relationship all the way around too as well. So guys, that's the great tip for today. Make sure you're communicating and improving your communication skills for your partner and for a better quality of life all the way around. So guys, we'll see you next week. ABC every Sunday, 11 a.m., Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. And guys, if you guys couldn't watch it live, DVR it. If you miss it there, go to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and watch all the great Cupid Corner, Cupid's Corner episodes and a lot, lot more cool content. Later, guys. Bye. See you next week.